Warren Earp lived in the shadow of his big brothers, Wyatt and Virgil. Although Warren was by their side most of the time, it seems that history has largely ignored him. This is the story of Warren Earp's life and somewhat unjustified murder, and you're watching it on Now You Know. Born March 9, 1855, Warren was the youngest of all the Earp brothers. He lived and worked in Tombstone alongside Virgil as a deputy collecting taxes and standing guard. But at the time of the famous O.K. Corral gunfight, Warren was in California visiting his parents. On December 28, 1881, Virgil was ambushed by the Cowboys, causing him to lose the use of his arm. This prompted Warren to return to Tombstone, where Wyatt deputized him again. Then, on March 18th, Morgan was shot and killed while playing billiards. Two days later, Warren joined a posse escorting Virgil and his wife Allie to the train station, where they came across Frank Steelwell. He was waiting to kill Virgil, but the posse got to him first. Then a grand jury returned an indictment naming Warren, Wyatt, Doc Holliday, Turkey Creek Jack Johnson, and Sherman McMaster, and a warrant was issued for their arrests. That is when County Sheriff John Behan gathered his deputies and they prepared to arrest the men at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. The Earp Party was heavily armed at the time. Behan said, Wyatt, I want to see you. Wyatt looked at him and said, You might see me once too often. Behan did not attempt to arrest them and the Earp Party left Tombstone and Wyatt's vendetta ride started, with Warren by his side the entire time. It is believed that they removed 16 cowboys from existence. Once the ride was over, no one from the Earp Party was ever tried or convicted. Following these events, Warren gained a reputation of being a bully. He was young, but he was well-known due to his big brothers, and so he felt like he was untouchable in many ways. Virgil himself was quoted to say, If Warren ever dies, he will be shot. He is too hasty quick-tempered, and too ready to pick a quarrel. Besides, he will not let bygones be bygones, and on that I expect he will meet a violent death. It is sad to say, but Virgil was right. On July 6, 1890, Warren got into an argument with a range boss named Johnny Boyette inside Brown's saloon. It was reported that both men had feelings for the same woman, perhaps even a prostitute. Regardless of how it started, Warren would not stop bullying or belittling Boyette. Later that night, both men were drinking, and they got into a heated argument. And Warren stated, Boyette, get your gun. We'll settle this right here. I've got mine. Go get yours. Boyette left and returned immediately with a Colt forty-five, and he yelled to Warren. When Warren came into view, Boyette immediately fired two shots, both missing Warren. Warren was not fazed by the shots, and he proceeded to walk out into the street, and Boyette took two more shots again, missing Warren. Warren then opened his coat and said, I have no arms. You have a good deal the best of this. Warren slowly walked towards Boyette. Boyette, who appeared to be terrified, warned Warren to stop, but he did not. And that is when Boyette fired once more, this time striking Warren in the chest, killing him almost instantly. He was 45 years old. Boyette later claimed that this was self-defense, although Warren did not have a gun, he did have an open pocket knife in his fist. Virgil himself visited the area undercover and interviewed witnesses. Virgil concluded that Warren was murdered. Boyette was arrested, but there was no information of how long or if at all he was ever in jail. One thing is for sure, though, Boyette lived the remainder of his life in constant fear, not knowing when or if Wyatt or Virgil would come to avenge the brother's death. Do you feel that John Boyette was justified in killing Warren? I would love to get your opinion on this. Please let me know in the comments, and I will pin the one that I agree with the most. Now that you know more about the Earp brothers' history, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything else. Thanks for listening!